Hello, I am Douglas from Troop 71, and I am here to show you how to assemble your Scout Voyager. So the supplies that you are going to need is wood glue, plastic, plastic cement, Kleenex is for if you need to redo the cement. Good to have that. Scissors for cutting out your shot cord mount, which I've already cut out. And if your if your nose cone um, is too tight, not to go into the rocket body, um, you can use sandpaper to sand it down. So. To begin, you are going to take assemble fin mount A and B, and you are going to take the plastic cement, open it up, and just put it along these lines. Okay, so once that's done, you are going to take it and just take the plastic fin, fin mount A and attach it right on top and hold it until it dries. Next, you are going to take your cone, your nose cone, and your cone insert, and you are going to put plastic cement on the inside, well, on the outside, on the or the inside of the cone very lightly, or rather being on the outside of this, of the cone insert. And then hold it till it dries. Should be good. So next, you are going to attach the launch plug onto your fin mount. Oops, it is complete. Um, let's see. So what you're going to want to do is you want to go in here and then around the little open area. So you commit I'm not going to do it. The these little parts. Okay. Um, so it goes right on here, these two parts that to fin mount A and these two little boxes you are going to attach on and then hold it until it dries. Okay, so now that that is done, you are going to want to actually take you are going to want to take actually, if you 
So you're going to. Oh. So you are going to attach this plastic cement onto. This is why you need tissues. You can wipe it off. And then we're going to want to glue around this, around the fin mount. Okay, and you are going to want to attach it and hold it till it dries. And then wipe off all the excess on the outside. Which if I'm correct, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to touch this stuff with your bare hands. So do not touch it with your bare hands. And then next what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to glue around this part. Oh, never mind. Um, you are going to want to attach this, the shot cord to the shot cord mount. So for this, you are not going to use the plastic cement. We're going to use the wood glue. And once you get this one's glued together. Oh I do oh okay. And then so you're going to glue it right on the number two one from this side and you are going to glue it Um, I you're going to wipe up your wrist if this happens. And then you're going to fold where you're going to attach this. The shock, mount, the shock cord, onto the shock mount, right in here, right in here, and then you are going to fold this one right onto it. The, you're going to attach it. Actually, you are going to put it this way. And fold number one onto number two. And then you are going to want to fold it onto three, which this can get very messy, so be careful. And once you do that, then you're going to want to fold it on a three, like so, like this. Then you're going to hold it until it sets. And my fingers are stuck together. Here you're going to wood glue again, but this is the, this takes longer to dry. So now that this is done, um, you're going to want to glue it. Dot not a lot. That's probably good. And you are going to want to take it and attach it on the inside of the tube.
and there now it's attached and you are going to want to do a double nut to the cone insert around it so let's do so do a double nut what? Okay, then once we get the double knot all done. So now if the double knot is done, you are going to attach the rocket. The, uh, the rocket attachment, um, the rocket cap to the engine cap to this and twist it to hold it on. Yeah, do not glue this. Repeat, do not glue it. And they come with two, just in case you lose one. Which is good. And now uh, you have this all done. You are going to attach the... You are going... Oh, you are going to let it dry. And then... That will be it, unless you want to add your decals. Bye.